What's going on, everybody? It's Nick Payne with Face Mask Fantasy. And now that the NFL draft has come and gone, we'll take a look at the landing spots for the rookies, what their outcome could be with their new team, and how their arrival impacts the team's incumbents. Up today, Bengals running back Chase Brown. Brown was the 10th running back selected in the 2023 draft, joining a potent Cincinnati offense and a backfield that collectively finished 10th in fantasy points per game in 2022. And with the team allowing Samaj P. Ryan to walk in free agency, 146 combined carries and targets are now vacated. Now, the team still has an anchor at the position in Joe Mixon, despite offseason rumors that the team would release him for cap savings. That doesn't seem likely now with the draft over and the team not spending more premium resources at the position. So Mixon should return and continue to see north of 300 opportunities. Behind Mixon are incumbents Chris Evans and Travion Williams, who combined for a whopping 13 carries and targets last year. Suffice to say, Backup duties behind Mixon are very much up for grabs, and Brown should have every chance to compete for those opportunities. So, who is Chase Brown, and does he have any type of fantasy upside moving forward? Brown started his college career at Western Michigan in 2018, where he chipped in 71 carries for 352 yards in 13 games played. He also had 10 catches for 75 yards, but did not record a score. In 2019, he transferred to Illinois, in part to play with his brother, Sidney. Brown redshirted that year before taking over lead back duties for the Illini from 2020 to 2022. In the COVID-shortened 2020 season, Brown had 104 carries for 540 yards and three touchdowns, and seven catches for 64 yards. In 2021, Brown upped his marks across the board, 170 carries, for 1,005 rushing yards and five touchdowns, along with 14 catches for 142 yards. As a senior in 2022, Brown's workload went through the roof. 328 carries for 1,643 yards and 10 touchdowns. He also had 27 catches for 240 yards and another three scores. Monster numbers resulting from a true bell cow roll. Brown averaged nearly 30 touches per game this past season. And his offseason has been strong as well, playing in the Senior Bowl and running a 4-4-3-40 at the Combine. Put it all together, and the Bengals made Brown a fifth-round pick. Naturally, running backs fall down draft boards in today's NFL, so we have to remember to grade these players on a curve. Brown stands at 5'10", weighing around 200 pounds, so he's got pretty prototypical size. He had solid collegiate numbers prior to 2022 and then exploded as a senior on the back of a massive workload. But he also fumbled the ball four times and has issues in pass protection. As you all know, these are the two biggest factors that can keep a running back from seeing the field. So Brown will have to clean up ball security and show improvement on third downs to earn some additional chances. Ultimately, in Dynasty rookie drafts, he's an option for RB needy teams late in the third round, but I wouldn't go higher than that. There's seven or eight running backs you probably prefer to walk away from your rookie draft with, and while Joe Mixon's time with the Bengals is winding down, Cincinnati will probably not go into 2024 with just Evans, Williams, and Brown as their backfield. That's not to say Brown can't handle some backup duties this year, but he's not on redraft radars, and he feels like a sell in Dynasty in the event he produces in his rookie year or if his value goes up whenever the team moves on from Mixon. We'll, of course, continue to monitor Brown's development, but what do you guys think? Put any thoughts you have in the comment section below, and we can have a conversation about this. Till then, this is Nick with Face Mask Fantasy. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for listening.